I have to get my story out there before I slowly bleed on the ground. Just heed my warnings. So I was nine years old and I love DreamWorks movies. B movie, How to Train Poppers Penguins, and of course, Shrek. It was very convenient because we were going to Chinatown, me, my brother, and my dad. And we all decided to go to this bootleg store that sold a bunch of bootleg DVDs. But to my surprise, I had found a mint condition copy of Shrek 2. It seemed like the real thing. So I handed the man the two dollars that he wanted for the DVD, and I decided to go home and pop it into my DVD player. It seemed normal at first. I opened up the menu, pressed play, and got ready to enjoy my movie. The movie starts off normally, like it does in any of the other Shrek films. Opening montage with the music, but then something terrible happened. Shrek walks into his house with Fiona and sees a donkey on the couch. But to his surprise, Shrek is not pleased about this. His eyes become hyper-realistic and start glowing red. And he starts yelling very angrily, not playfully. He says, Donkey, get out of my house. And Donkey replies with a sw s s Donkey replies with <laughs> this playful remark. But then Shrek picks Donkey up and snaps him against his knee. Fiona screams as Donkey's corpse hits the ground, bleeding. It cuts to black, and then we get a scene of Donkey's funeral. Not all the Shrek characters are there. Everybody knows that Shrek had done it. Everybody knows that he was a monster. But I couldn't look away. I tried. I tried forcing myself to turn that off right then and there, because I knew something bad was going to happen. But I stopped myself for some reason. It was like it was forcing me to watch. After the funeral scene, Fiona and Shrek are sitting in the house. When they get a knock on the door, it's Gingy. Gingy tries to talk to Shrek angrily. He says he knew that he was behind the whole donkey incident. Shrek says, what are you going to do about it? You're just a little crumbly cookie. Gingy tries to fight off Shrek, but Shrek crumbles Gingy. Not just in cookie way, he actually has blood and guts spilling out. I think to myself, why would a cookie have guts and blood? But then again, this wasn't an average ordinary movie. Fiona tells Shrek to stop, but Shrek turns to her and says, It's all gonna be ogre soon. And... And he clobbers her. He starts wailing on her, fist flying. It was terrible. Blood starts spilling all over the place from Fiona as she cries for Shrek to stop. He finally chokes her to death. He decides to get rid of the evidence. Everybody is all up on him now. Everybody slowly turns to corpses around Shrek. And Shrek just stares into the screen with white static noise. I gasp. Thoroughly creeped out. I try my hardest to turn off the DVD now, but it's too late. Shrek is crawling through the TV. I ran away. I ran as hard as I could. 
he just kept on shouting, You saw me. You saw what I did. Now you will be Ogre. I scream and start running. He grips me with his giant man hands and then throws me across the room. He sees that I have a bowl of his famous Shrek Kellogg's cereal. He decides to take it and beat me with it senseless. I'm bleeding now. I'm bleeding on the floor. I'm just waiting for death to